Now Deontay Wilder is at it again. Now he's suggesting that Tyson Fury's performance against Francis Ngannou is proof that he was cheating in the fights he had with Fury. Remember, Deontay Wilder had a dent in his skull. He accused Fury of having egg weights in his glove, even though a representative of his team was back there. And if that's not enough, also, he had a representative of the Nevada State Athletic Commission back there. Why is he relating this fight with Nagano to his fights? Is it disbelief that French Nagano did better against Fury than him? Not to me because Deontay Wilder is not a great boxer. He has power in the right hand. He's a one-trick pony. Tyson Fury did hit French Nagano with some big shots, including an elbow to the face. French Nagano just has an iron chin. Unlike Deontay Wilder, has big power in the right hand, but he's very chinny. Wilder is in still, in, still in denial that Tyson Fury beat him two times. You ask me, it was three times. He just cannot believe it because he's the one who cherry-picked Tyson Fury, and it didn't work out well for him. Instead of fighting Anthony Joshua with that three-fight deal for $100 million, he decided to pick a Tyson Fury, who was overweight and an addict. And he thought that would be an easy win because he thought Tyson Fury didn't have it anymore instead of fighting Anthony Joshua for all the chips. And it backfired on him. And now Deontay Wilder is scarred for his boxing life. Wilder will never get over the beatings. Now the new narrative Deontay Wilder is using also is Anthony Joshua is scared to fight him. But I can't believe that because all I see is this tweet right here. He turned down the fight with Anthony Joshua to fight Tyson Fury again. A fight that did not need to happen because Anthony Joshua is for all the marbles. It's for undisputed and it's for a lot more money, as he says in his tweet. Now, why would you turn down a fight with all the money, all the glory, a fight in that magnitude to fight Tyson Fury that has no belt, has nothing, and the Anthony Joshua fight is much bigger? Let me know. So yes, the ball is too big for Canelo. I don't know. I don't know. In, uh, the, the, uh, the Canelo teams need to think if, if, if what the rematch will be ball. What about Benavides? Yes, Benavides. I like that fight, Benavides Canelo, because Benavides is a Mexican American fighter, and I think would be a great fight because Benavides is he, he has uh, hurt and, and uh, he, he likes to fight. Juan Manuel Marquez named his top ten Mexican fighters of all time. And it's one name on the list that, that should be on the list that's not on the list, and that's Canelo Alvarez. Are we really surprised? Marquez has been very critical of Canelo Alvarez, saying, saying he's fighting great fighters past their prime, and he's not fighting the fighters he should fight. One of the fighters he's talking about is David Benavidez. It's a fight we all want to see. You know, Juan Manuel Marquez predicted that Canelo Alvarez would knock out Bivolt between eight or nine rounds. After the fight, he says there's no way Canelo Alvarez can beat Dimitri Bivol. And a lot of people feel that way. And Marquez has always been one of Canelo's biggest haters. And there's been a lot of great Mexican fighters. And one of my favorites who was underrated as a fighter, let alone a Mexican fighter, is Ricardo Lopez. He was just at a smaller weight. I think Ricardo Lopez fought at a straw weight, 108 pounds, 112 pounds, maybe flyweight. He retired undefeated, 51 and 0. Didn't get the recognition I felt like other great Mexican fighters as Juan Mayo Marquez, Marco Antonio Barrera, Eric Morales. He didn't get the recognition those fighters got, and they were great fighters. With that being said, I cannot believe that Canelo is not in Juan Manuel Marquez's top 10 of all time just because what he accomplished. Four division champ, undisputed at 168. And when you think about Julio Cesar Chavez winning on an 89 fight winning streak, you think about Salvador Sanchez, great fighters. But neither one of those guys, and they're great fighters. I'm not saying Canelo's better than them, but neither one of those guys cleaned out a division. And for that reason, and it's his opinion, it's his list. But for that reason, I think Juan Mayo Marquez should put Canelo in the top 10 of his list. But that's just my opinion. Maybe when Canelo knocks out David Benavides, he'll have a change of heart. 
Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.